I, I didn't need this. Okay, I didn't need none of this stuff, okay? What, what do you need when you go to TJ Maxx? You don't know what you need. TJ Maxx tells you what you need. This is how you keep a family together. You have backup. I have backup dishes, I have backup storage bins, so if something gets broken, missing. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, grab a seat, make yourself at home, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so glad to have you a part of our community, and if you're a returning subscriber, you already know I love and appreciate your support, so thank you so much. Before we get started, let me say something that I've been meaning to address. Turn on your notification bell. I have been getting slowly but surely people trickling back into the community and watching videos and saying, Re, I didn't know you were back. I took a little break from YouTube and I had no idea that when I returned, my subscribers would not be alerted that I was back. So if you don't have on the notification bell, you will not be necessarily alerted whenever your um, favorite content creators and communities that you're a part of have uploaded a new video. It's crazy the way the algorithm works, but notification bell is key. Once you click that notification bell, you're gonna be notified every time I upload a video. Since we've been on the topic lately of what all do you wash before you eat, do you guys wash your um, salads and your greens? I have um, been washing my greens for the most part. Um, every once in a while, I'll get a little like lazy or if I'm like super hungry, I will skip washing my greens because, um, oh, I just found this in my greens. What is that? It's something blue. straight out of the container. Guys, this is plastic. Living in America is so scary sometimes. Like, what in the world? Why is there plastic in my greens? But as I was saying, I usually go by this whole triple wash thing. And sometimes it makes me feel a little secure in skipping the step of washing my greens, but I think um, just now the Lord gave me a sign to always wash my greens. Like this is for real like plastic y'all in my greens. That's scary. Okay, this is my sign, this is your sign. Don't be lazy, don't skip the step of washing your greens. And I don't do it often y'all, but I have, I have, been super hungry some days and I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna eat. I obviously wash them when I buy them in bulk and they're not pre-packaged, but when you buy them pre-packaged and they say triple washed, you know, you expect your greens to be kosher, but this is plastic in my greens. Blue plastic, I guess it probably got, whatever else was in the factory was washed into my greens, I'm gonna save this and show it to my husband when he comes home. Like, this is crazy. Kind of scary. Let me see if I can put it on a little plate and show you guys a little better. Y'all see that? That was in my greens. A little piece of plastic, blue plastic. It's almost like, it looks like something that broke off of like a milk jar like the little safety um ringlet around the milk jar like that that's what that looks like creepy <laughs> so wash your greens this is your sign to always wash your greens i know all of y'all are gonna say re we wash our greens you're the only trifling one out there and that's fine i'll be the trifling one that every once in a while, maybe twice a year, I don't wash my greens. This is clearly my sign. Wash the greens, Re. Don't get comfortable.
even before Pinterest and all of that stuff was like a thing, plating my food and making it like really, really pretty has always been like a thing for me. <laughs> and then I jumble it all up and eat it, right? But I have always enjoyed making my food look pretty. Okay, how many was that? I think that was three. I'm gonna put that one back. Look at that. You cannot tell me that doesn't look good. Even if you are not a big grains and greens lover, let me tell you, this right here will make you smile. It's just something about it being so colorful and just so pretty. I should have put some red cabbage in, but like, it's so wonderful. You all remember in last week's vlog, I was having, um, my nose was itching, having some issues with allergies and I don't have allergies. Like I have never had an issue with like seasonal allergies. Um, and if I do like have some sneezing and some runny nose, it lasts for like a second. <laughs> um, so yeah, last week I was really blown away. Like what in the world is going on? So I had to think back, what have I changed with my diet? What have I changed? The only thing that I changed is I decided, well, I've changed a lot with my diet, but the most recent before the, um, allergy symptoms was taking away the coffee and incorporating this morning energy blend. It's got mushrooms in it though. It's a mushroom powder. It's really good, but the serving size is only one a day y'all. And I was having two packets a day. I would have one at morning and one like mid morning, like right before lunch. And on days when I was feeling like really, um, like I needed some extra warmth and love in a cup, I would have th three of these y'all. I would space them out throughout the day, but I would, I, I could have up to three of these a day y'all. And my husband was like, babe, mushrooms, like have some like real serious power your body clearly was reacting to an overload of that superfood, And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> so thank God I didn't die. Okay, I'm still here, I'm alive. And I learned a lesson. So if you are kicking your coffee habit, this is really a good replacement, but it doesn't have caffeine in it. So if you're needing caffeine, you're not gonna be getting caffeine with this, but the flavor and the taste is so good in this. Um, but only, only do one packet a day. Don't go hard like me. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into this haul. Y'all, I have so much to share. I got so much stuff. Like it's ridiculous. We'll start with clothes first, but I'll just hodgepodge them all together. So it'll be a combination of TJ Maxx and Marshall. First up. So I have a pair of workout leggings and y'all know I love brown. So I found this little brown tank it's kind of like ribbed and it's by tahari i know i told you guys that i would be totally fine with a very neutral wardrobe but there are a few colors that when i do infuse color i want to keep and i do love that is red green and i love like coral so i found these red shorts and um i've been looking for red shorts for a long time like a couple of summers so hit the jackpot with these. I love how I look in the color green. I found this dress. I think this was in the juniors department. So cute, so cute, so cute. I'll slip it on so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, so here is some more green. I actually have some green pants, so I'm replacing them because the ones that I had previously are really, really big, so thought I would grab these. I saw them at Marshall's a couple of weeks back and decided not to get them. And then when I went back, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely getting these. 
found this olive green blazer by Nicole Miller. Um, really, really love this. I can see myself running over to the girls' school with like just a white tee and some jeans on with this. Um, I can dress this up, dress it down. So I really like this. All right, so you guys know I said I could stand to have more neutral colors and just basic colors in my wardrobe. So I'm gonna be incorporating as I move forward more pieces in black. You can do so much with black. Um, I love a jumper, a rumper, I'm all for it. So I found this jumper and found a rumper at Marshall's, same brand. The brand is called Young, Fabulous, and Broke. I did a little research because whenever I find brands that I'm not familiar with, I like to go online and see like how much their um, company is like retailing items for. And this brand kind of reminds me of Free People. The quality, it's, it's almost like this shabby chic kind of um, vibe. Quite expensive in my opinion at their regular retail price. I would never pay the retail prices that they are suggesting but I got a pretty good deal. My jumper or my romper rather was $39.99 and the jumper was $39.99 too. So these pieces online are retailing for like over a hundred dollars and I'm just not quite seeing seeing the why as to as to as to why. Uh, the material, in case you're wondering, I think this is linen. Um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a blend with 55% linen. So I don't know. I think for me, I was a little torn as to why this brand would be called Young, Fabulous, and Broke, but your pieces are pretty much all retailing for over a hundred dollars like if you're gonna have a brand called young fabulous and broke like your price points i feel like need to be reasonable or speak to that audience when i see the brand young fabulous and broke i would envision someone who you know obviously doesn't have a lot of money to spend on a wardrobe but still wants to feel and look fabulous so these prices in my opinion just don't make sense but i do love these jumpers one of the things that I'm gonna do with the romper because I am a little petite, like um, my torso is a bit short, is I am actually gonna kind of improv here and tuck it in. I probably could have maybe gone with a size small, but I got a medium because this is all that I saw. The jumper on the other hand is actually a small and I feel like it is the perfect fit. All right, so that's everything in terms of apparel. We're gonna move into all of the things, home goods. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the stores that are the combo stores where you have TJ Maxx and home goods all together? I do like that, but you just get into so much more trouble in those stores. You guys know I'm still playing around with this master bedroom, so just say a prayer for me. It's 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 a slow process, but I'm, I'm okay. I found, I've been looking for, I really am, pressed to have a linen comforter. I was going with brown, I returned that, and uh, because it wasn't quite the brown that I wanted, and then once I got the brown in here, it felt like too dark. I'm really into this very just like wanting everything very neutral and light and calm in terms of my color scheme. I do wanna start incorporating some more textures though, cause I don't want it to be like white on top of white on top of white, if that makes sense. So that is something that I'm trying to understand. I got a really, really good deal on this. So I'm hoping that once I put it on the bed, I'm gonna be in love. I am in love with the color. I think it really is a nice color. And uh, they also had it in white, but I didn't wanna go with white because I have little ones that are always coming to curl up in bed and play Uno and just kind of hang out. So I knew that a white duvet would not probably um, be a part of my ministry. <laughs> all right, next up in terms of bedding, I am really torn. I do want all linen. I think for me, I have gotten so frustrated with cotton sheets being wrinkled. I know, like get a life re, who cares? I know, but I do, I care. <laughs> um, so I've been just like really, really bothered with like cotton sheets looking so wrinkled. 
And um, so I thought, okay, just get linen because linen is gonna obviously have like this wrinkled look, but it's more of a, like a relaxed, a relaxed wrinkled. It's almost like I feel like linen, it's acceptable for linen to be wrinkled, right? So I've been on the hunt for linen bedding. However, with the way my skin is set up, I'm, it's like I'm very sensitive to touch and I have slept in a bed that had linen sheets on it and I wasn't a fan. I did read that the more, the more, the more you wash linen, the softer it gets. So maybe, maybe over time I would learn to love it. I don't know, but that's been my dilemma with linen sheets. So I found this sheet set and um, I was impressed with the thread count and the price. So I did go with this neutral tone sheet set that pretty much coordinates like spot on with the, um, the duvet. All right, next up, I found this Kate Spade lamp. I'm thinking about putting this out in uh, the common area. Um, I've been looking for a lamp that was black, but I actually kind of like this one because it has a gold accent at the base of it. And you all know I have lots of black and gold in the common area out there. So I thought this would be really, really nice. It's up in the air, so if you don't see it, it means it went back, but I really do think this is going to be a keep. You guys know how crazy obsessed I am with all things kitchen organization and things functioning well in the kitchen. So, Beano bins. I am always talking about these Beano bins. I can't speak for any other produce savers. I guess they all work the same, but I am a creature of habit, so I stick with the same brands a lot of the times. And we were in the store and our oldest daughter was like, mom, do we really need more like storage bins? And I'm like, listen, okay? With as much produce as we have coming in this house, storage bins are a necessity. Backup storage bins are a must. Storage bins on sale are a score. Yes. <laughs> and these were a score. I normally order these on Amazon and this particular size, it's a small size. It's 1.6 liters or 1.7 quarts. This is $4.99 at Home Goods. And if you order it on Amazon, they are $9.99, I believe. So yeah, I'm like, this is half the price so yes we need these and you know if your family is anything like mine you know stuff gets broken missing this is how you keep a family together you have backup i have backup dishes i have backup storage bins this is how we don't argue there's backup <laughs> so yes i told my daughter yes we need these more in terms of kitchen y'all these i was like so impressed with um, I thought they were a little pricey, but I got them. $9.99. Makes me wonder how much the retailer is selling them for. But these are ice cube trays, right? I like the fact that these ice cube trays have like the little collector um, container here. So boom, once your ice is finished making, you can just simply pop it out and pretty much kind of have like a little collection of ice. Many of you probably don't have a need for an ice tray, but our ice machine on our refrigerator broke like the very first year we had our refrigerator. We never had it fixed or replaced or called for repair. And we have learned over time, I don't know about you guys, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it in terms of the whole machine. <laughs> We um, have made that mistake here in our house. Like we've had some appliances that felt like they were on their way out and we replaced them. And the things that we replaced them with didn't last much longer. Like, I don't know if they're just not making things good quality anymore, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really strange. So we have this whole just philosophy around here now that if it's not broke, don't even bother with trying to fix it or replace it. We'll wait until our refrigerator completely dies so we're okay without the ice maker working. The other thing that I was excited about with these is I'm actually going to um, 
do some really kind of like cool flavored cubes and just do some fun stuff with these. I think I'm gonna like do lemon water in these and have like some lemon cubes because in the morning I've been starting with warm lemon water. So I'm thinking I may just have a tray of lemon cubes and in the morning I can just pop a couple of lemon cubes pour some warm water over it and roll versus having to slice open a lemon every morning and juice it and go from there. In case you're wondering, the ice cube trays are from Marshalls and I got two of these. Next up, I got some of these natural fiber sponges because we were out in the kitchen. <laughs> I laughed because the girls were with me when I went shopping this time and they were like really bent on having this. I guess they're going to be hunting for treasures or just doing some silly stuff with it. It was only $7.99 and I thought it would be cute to like display on top of like some books in the common area. So I have this large magnifying glass. These were from Marshalls and I got three of these. $4.99. A little pricey for these, I do believe. Okay. But I feel like um, they would come in handy because I don't have anything for like small quantities of berries. And I really do hate putting like a small little quantity of berries in like a large container. I'm all about trying to save space and be as efficient with things in the refrigerator as I can because there is so much in the refrigerator, especially during the summer with the kids home. So grab these little ones. Um, yeah. Next up from Home Goods is this fragrance and diffuser. I'm not going to even use the fragrance that was in here. I just fell in love with the fact that the bottle is brown and y'all know I love brown. And I did want like a um, diffuser bottle and some little diffuser reeds. I'm going to create my own scent. I am very particular about artificial fragrances just because of just the risk that they pose and our youngest daughter has allergies. I am actually very sensitive to certain smells. So um, if it's not a natural smell, some of these fragrances are just wrong. And even though they smell good, I just, I can't tolerate them for long. So I'm gonna actually pour this out. I know, I know, what a waste. I'm gonna pour this out. I fell in love with the simplicity of this brown bottle. Um, I needed the diffuser reeds and I'm gonna create my own scent just using some of my favorite essential oils and i um, gonna go from there. Speaking of brown, doesn't this remind you of the Stanley cup that has gone completely viral and everybody and their mama and their grandmama and their cousins have one? You probably have one. I don't. Um, I used to be a huge fan of like all things water bottles, like every new water bottle that came out, I was like on it. But then my girls pretty much took all my water bottles and have lost them during the school year or have dented or cracked them. So I'm down to one staple water bottle and that is I have a Yeti mug that I use pretty much all the time. I love my Yeti mug. My husband has a black one. I have a white one but i i didn't need this okay i didn't need none of this stuff okay what what do you need when you go to tj maxx you don't know what you need tj maxx tells you what you need but y'all i love brown and this is brown and i keep seeing the stanley mug and i'm just like okay i think the stanley mug is cool it's very trendy it's very everyone has one right now but I was not about to jump on that bandwagon because I'm like, I got my Yeti mug, I'm cool, I'm straight. And I think the Stanley mug is like, goes for about 40 bucks, 29, 29 or 39, I don't know. But when I saw this, and I didn't just buy it because it looks like the Stanley mug, I bought it because it's brown. <laughs> I bought it because it's brown. The brand is Hydroflow. Um, I think they have some on like Amazon. And I'll link as much of this stuff as I can find below but it'll be amazon links so you're not gonna get the price probably that i'm getting but you may because i think amazon is coming up on like a sale you may be able to find some of this stuff at a, at a good price or reasonable price on amazon i paid 16.99 for this um at tj maxx home goods 
But y'all, like I said, it's brown and I just love the fact that it, it, I love brown. If it's brown, I gotta find a reason to get it. My daughter picked up this neutral insulated um, food jar for school next year. She is going to high school, so she is upgrading all of her, I guess, kind of like accessories for school. Like she pretty much has carried the same lunch pail and book bag and lunch accessories from pretty much like elementary through middle school. So now that she's going to high school, you know, she got to step up her little big girl game and you know, you can't be having pink, you know, hot pink in high school. I guess you can't, but she thought this was really nice. She was like, mom, it's nice and calm and neutral. And it doesn't say like, look at me. I got two little hats. I, I, I'm, I'm all about hats y'all. How many hats can you have? You only have one head, but I, I do like hats. I found um, just a plain old black hat. And then I also found a just a plain black visor. Um, I always feel like it's okay to buy hats because my girls stay in my hats. Sometimes they lose my hats or leave my hats at school. So we are a hat wearing family. Um, and then last but not least, I found a pair of shades. You guys know I cannot get out of these stores without a pair of sunshades. I don't need any more, but I do have a slight obsession with this brand. Key, is it Key or Quay? Key, is it one Key or two Quay? Let me know. One, comment down below. One Key or two Quay? Or none, neither. Am I saying I'm both wrong? I say Key. I don't know, but I love the key sunglasses. Um, all right, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this haul, this very impromptu shopping haul where I walked up in there like it was no budget, okay? And there is a budget, trust me. Let's hope my husband is not watching this video, okay? And um, as always, make your day beautiful. The choice is yours, and I'll see you guys in the next one.